Hello. Today's book, it was The Teacher from the Black Lagoon, but it got crossed out and it says The Principal. The Principal from the Black Lagoon. Hmm, let's see what that has to say today. It's the third day of school. I've been sent to the principal's office. What a bummer. Oh, look at the teacher pointing that way. I heard the principal, Mrs. Green, is a real monster. Kids go to her office and never come back. Ooh, look at the lockers. Ooh. The waiting room is supposed to be filled with bones and skeletons. Doris Foodle was sent there for chewing gum. They say her skeleton still has a bubble in its mouth. There's the bubble. I walk in. I take a seat. The rug is red. That's so the blood won't show. I hear she uses tall kids as coat racks. Uh, look at that tall, the two tall kids. Is that the principal? What a crazy story. The short kids she feeds to her pet alligator. The fat ones she uses as paperweights. The thin ones she uses as bookmarks. I'm too young to be a bookmark. Then there's her 12-foot paddle. It's supposed to have poison spikes on it. If you're lucky, you get put in the cages and she then, she has them under her desk. Look at the spikes. I don't know about this book, it's silly. If you're really lucky, you get sent home in chains. But most kids, she keeps for her experiments. Derek Bloom was sent here yesterday. They say he wound up with his head, with the head of a dog. They say Freddie Jones has the feet of a chicken and Eric Porter, the hands of a hamster. Look at those chicken feet. Isn't that crazy? And look at his teeny, teeny hands. I don't know about this story. I too look good looking. I'm too good looking to have the ears of a rabbit. And I did all I did was snatch Mrs. Jones' wig. It's very quiet today. Usually they say there's a lot of screaming. Maybe she's in a good mood. Even if I survive, this will affect my whole life. In the future, I'll be running for president. I'll be ahead in the polls, and then it will come out. I can see the headlines now. Presidential candidate sent to principal's office. Oh no, what do you think that means? Oh, oh, there's a shadow at the glass. Now I'm in the jaws of fate. The door slowly opens. Look, there's somebody standing behind that door. Huh? It's starting to open. What do you suppose that means? 
there's a pretty woman standing there. She has, she's a master of disguise. Come in, Hubie. I go in. She closes the door behind me. Isn't she pretty? Who do you suppose she is? I look around. There's only the coat rack. It doesn't look like anyone I know. I look around for the alligator. There's only a turtle. It looks like a little Randy Potts. Now, said Mrs. Green, are we having it trouble, little trouble in class? Well, said I, I was sweeping up the floor, and by accident, Mrs. Jones' wig got caught on the broom handle. Well, we'll have to apologize, won't we? Yes, we will. And the next time, we'll have to be more careful. Yes, we will. Yes, yes, we will. Now run along. Is that all? Boy, was I lucky. Those flowers on her desk were probably poisonous. Just one whiff and you would turn purple and die. Fortunately, I held my breath. I went into her cave and I have returned without the ears of a rabbit. I'll have to sweep her office sometime and see if she wears a wig. Oh, he's a little brat. Look at that look in his eyes. He's the one that's the trouble. And you know what? He made that all up in his head. Mrs. Green was a nice principal.